So I'm sure you guys have heard the rumors, and I hate to break it to you, but they're all true. The rumor that I can, and will, kick your ass. Funny story, I was walking home from work one day, and I saw a little, little tiny little baby rabbit just hopping around, you know? And I thought to myself, I could easily kill that thing. Sometimes I can't contain my pure rage. So, I wanted to just get it out on video form. I just wanted to have this video exist as proof to show you how powerful I really am. I took to the gram, I took to YouTube, I took to the social medias to uh, ask you guys who your favorite fictional characters uh, were. And in this video, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating which characters I could murder, absolutely devastate, and which characters could uh, destroy me. because. I'm, at the end of the day, I'm not a god. You know, I don't have endless strength. Not quite there yet, so... <laughs> Whew. At the end of the day, I want this video to be sort of like a resume. You're getting bullied at school. Uh, show this to your bully. Show this. To your bully. And then... You sure as heck won't be bullied anymore, that's for dang sure. Let's get into it, why don't we? So let's start off with a simple one, an easy one, Spider-Man. Now Spider-Man is often seen as one of the coolest and most powerful superheroes, but he's just kind of a nerd. He's just kind of a beta male. Spider-Man could probably deck me, probably. But Peter Parker, he's gonna die. This is me. That's Peter Parker. He's dead. Steven Universe, this is another one. Uh, easy. Steven Universe is like a four foot one chubby little POC. And you know what? He's gonna die. My fist is gonna interlock with his fat face. Scrooge McDuck! You guys give me all the easy answers. Really? Scrooge McDuck? He's a duck. He's like that what? He's like that big. Just choke his neck. Here's what I would do. Drop a coin on the floor, drop a little coin, he'd go, Oh, bloody hell, I'm gonna go get the fucking coin. He runs over with his little grubby hands, he picks it up, grab him by the neck, pop it like a Mortal Kombat fate. Pop him like a Mortal, pop him like a Mortal Kombat fatality. He's done. Or, if I feel like it, just punt him across the, just, punt him. I can't raise my leg that way. Just like, or, just like, punt him across the floor. Because at the end of the day, he's a duck. What's he going to do about it? What, is he going to sue me? Probably. If I go to jail, that's fine. I mean, he's got a lot of money, so. Financially, one point for Scrooge McDuck. Physically, I win. As per usual. Rungo. <sighs> I don't know, guys. This guy's a... This guy's... This guy's really mean. Um, pass. No, I'm, I can't. No, turn the video off, please. A lot of you guys said Transformers characters, and I get I asked, you know, who's your favorite fictional character? I can't fight a Transformer. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, they're like 20 feet of metal. Like, that's like fighting a building. Like, my fist can go through most forms of concrete, but like, I can't punch through the Empire State Building. Like, my fist is gonna shatter before anything happens. I mean, I'm being completely realistic here. I don't want to exaggerate my strength so much to the point. I'm being very honest in this video. Optimus Prime, I'm dead. Bumblebee, I'm still dead. Um, Grimlock, that's a T-Rex Transformer. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm dead. Let's go back to characters I would absolutely decimate. You guys have seen enough of me trying to be a little baby. You know, Transformers can kick my ass, but you know whose ass I can kick? Master Chief. Yeah, he's like seven feet tall of, of pure muscle and, and, and cool green armor, but his voice is just like, oh, my Master Chief. Like, <laughs> what a loser. He's dead. He's gonna die. If he ever came to my Baskin Robbins, we would have, I boy, I'd have a, I'd have, I'd give him a, a one-two, I'd give him a fist shaking. Aang from Avatar. 
He's just a little skinny punk. He's just like a little kid. Just kick his ass. Like you're playing soccer on the, on the street with the boys. You know? Pretend Aang's head is a soccer ball. He's gone. Denzel. Joker. Now this is another character that I think a lot of people overestimate. Joker at the end of the day doesn't even have any superpowers. He's just a guy. He's just a guy who laughs a lot. And this cocky, laughy son of a gun is gonna get his face smashed in. I'm sorry. He's got a very punchable face. He's always smiling like... What's that all about? Any iteration of the Joker, he's dead. Put him up against animated series, Lego Joker. This is where my strength simply overpowers any hope of the Joker doing any damage to me. He's gone. Don't need Batman. Just hire me. Hero of Gotham. Renzo Mox. One of those. Yeah, put that on a put that on a poster. Captain Underpants. Guys, can't say stuff like this. Of course he would. Are you kidding me? Look at him. Damn it. Why do you guys always Why are you guys trying to make me look weak and and small? I don't want to look small. Come on, it's my video. It's my channel. Back to the cool stuff. Whose ass can I kick? Yours. Next. That's the next video. I'm coming to kick your ass. That's the new video. Next up is Thatch Mac. Let's be real here. Thatch may outweigh me in physical strength and smarts and being a bigger nerd than me. But, comma, here's the thing, he knows Krav Maga? That's not even a real sport. You know what is a real sport? Me kicking his ass. Thatch, with all his fancy moves, would come in, he'd be like, Whoa! and then his fist would fly a million miles into my gut. It would go, it would, the, it would absorb. But here's the thing, here's the, here's the punch, right? He has so much Krav energy stored up in his fist, like the, the Iron Fist. When it connects with my gut, when it connects with my gut, the impact is going to, to, to absorb. I will, because of my strength, my pure raw strength, it is going to absorb into my stomach. My strength will be outward pushed in this big gas of explosion and I, my body will become all cool and stuff. I'll get like rock hard hands and I'll be like and I'll kill Thatch. I made Fodum. I wrote all, he won't tell you that. I wrote all of Fodum. That was me. No, no credit. Thatch stole my identity, actually. I am that's me. Poatsu, Krika, Nuparu, and let's just add Tahumata to that list, because here's the thing, Tahumata is the easiest to explain his point. Any Bionicle, they're like really small, what are they, like the size of toys? Here's the thing, Tahumata, if he existed, he's got like a string neck, he's got a neck that's like the size of a pencil. Here's what's happening, I don't care if he's like the guardian of light or whatever, I'm walking up to Tahumata, I'm ripping his head off from the neck. It would be really easy to do, he's a robot, I'm kicking his ass. He's a, he's a short circuit looking ass. He's done, you know? And that goes with any Bionicle. They're all just robots. I just knock them over. Just kick them over. And they're done. Shove? When push comes to shove, you shove the robot down into the creek there. Here's another controversial pick. Doom's <laughs> Doom's <laughs> Like, everyone says it's like the coolest. Actually, censor that. Doom guy. I hate the, I, um, so Goom, Doom, Goom guy, Goom, Goom die here is going to die because he's this big jack man he's killing demons and stuff right but what you don't know about him is that he sucks and he's got a really big insecurity and that's just you just poke his his six pack you know if you just touch it and or if you point at it and laugh at it he probably gets really insecure in that case i win over him mentally as opposed to physically i don't even need to get physical i don't need to even bring out these guns because by that point my brain would have already won the fight. Squidman. Well, the answer is in the name, my friend. You eat him like calamari. Okay, last but not least, we gotta take a look at the big one. Superman. 
You know, you're probably thinking, Renzo, Superman is like made out of sun energy, and he beat Goku, and he's really cool, and he came to my brother's birthday party, so he's really cool. Eh. Wrong. Superman is Clark Kent in disguise. You guys forget about that? Clark Kent is a little baby. He's an insecure little dweeb. And he'll probably take his books out of his hand when he's going to his class one day. He probably gets all flustered about it, you know? So my goal here with Clark Kent is to emotionally torment him for the, the next 10 years. You know, I want to know him for 10 years. I work at the Daily Bugle alongside of him. And together, we work together in tandem, and I will just be a constant threat in his life. I will constantly be antagonizing him. So even though he's got the strength of Zeus, um, my emotional torment over the years, I drop myself in that timeline, I torment him every single day of his life, until eventually, he will cave under the pressure, and that's where I strike. At his lowest moment, I will dominate him, and become the Superman Returns. That's what I will... <laughs> I will become the one that he has feared his entire lifetime. I know you're like, Renzo. Well, that's too much. Superman? Renzo? Renzo, that's too much. Superman? You can't fight Superman. He's inhaled the power of God and anime on his side. Yeah, I know that. Okay? I know. But again, my emotional torture of Clark Kent will be enough to destroy Superman. It's not so much about his strength a lot of the times. You gotta, you guys gotta think with your heads a lot of time. You guys gotta, you guys can't overcome every enemy with just pure, unbridled, raw my strength. You need to use a little bit of brain power, which is stuff that I definitely have. A lot of. I'm not stupid, Jared. Stop calling me stupid. I've already, I, I've proven many times that I'm not dumb, so please, Stop it. I don't want to get my mom on the disc on the phone again to t tell you otherwise, Jared. So piss off. This one's for you, Jared. I can kick your ass. Here's a picture of Jared. Um, I'm kicking your ass, Jared. You know what? I'm sending you into Tuesday. In fact, check this out. Oh. exerted most of my strength. If you guys didn't like this video, or you guys felt a little uncomfortable watching this video, it's a totally fine reaction to feel. I was uncomfortable making this video. Sometimes you just gotta get into the nitty gritty truth. You know, you just gotta discuss things that are real and, and re me really make an impact. I know you guys are like, Renzo, I don't care about any of this. Where's your freaking, where's Gus Martone 2? Uh, it's coming eventually, so please wait. I don't know when, but it will be out one day. <laughs> and that is the day that you guys will be looking forward to. I need to sleep more. Goodbye. Don't forget. I can't get moving the rest. Another one. Another dream. I keep seeing him. Why won't he go away? Another bad dream, father. Yeah. I thought by making a video to show how strong I was, I would finally stop thinking about him. But the nightmares have been worse and worse lately. What should I do? I think you know exactly what you have to do. Yeah. You're right. I know exactly what I have to do. <laughs>